Welcome to our how-to guide on how we create custom reports in Sugar CRM. In order to be able to create reports, you do need to have at least the professional edition of Sugar CRM. Uh, since the community edition doesn't have this particular module in it, there are modules available for the CE edition, but they tend to be a, a little uh, less intuitive than the uh, professional edition. So, uh, what I'm showing you here. Um, I'm at the uh, home page for my CRM and let's say our marketing manager has come to us and asked us for a, a summary of all of our leads and where those leads have been coming from in the last 12 months. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create him a report and I'm going to add that report to his dashboard so he doesn't need to go and search for it each and every time. So I'm going to go to my reports module, hit create report and I'm presented with the option of which report to choose. Now, 95% of the reports that we create are going to be summation reports with details. Okay, There is the occasion where we may create a report, and, uh, rows and columns report, uh, and that's generally where uh, the client wants to be able to export as uh, Excel data, and uh, that's really all they want to be able to do. Um, summation report is a graph-based report, Summation report with details gives us, gives us the best of both worlds. So it provides us with a, a graphical chart that provides a quick summary view of um, of our key metric that we're trying to measure, but also also allows us to drill down into that information and see the um, uh, the rows within the report or the data that makes up that report uh, so that we can then um, see additional information if we choose to. Now because it has that graphical chart element uh, we are able to add that report to our home page uh, dashboards. Okay? And finally the matrix report is where we need to see uh, complex data sets in um, a table format and uh, generally with, with more than just a couple of groupings. Um, so uh, similar to rows and columns, but with um, a bit more capability around uh, presenting our data. Okay, but most of the time it's going to be a summation report with details. Okay, so we're going to select that. Now, because my marketing manager wants to see um, a summary around our leads, okay, I'm going to select my leads module. Now there are a number of steps here. Okay, the first step is to define our filters. Our filters are um, well, exactly as they sound. Um, we want to exclude data that's not relevant to our report. So in this case, our marketing manager wants to see information that's relatively recent, okay? But he wants to see enough to be able to get a trend, okay? So we're going to add the date created field as a um, uh, as a, a filter, and I'm going to set it to this year. Okay. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to a runtime field, and what that allows uh, me to do is it gives me two uh, two key options. One, because I've set uh, selected a dynamic option here, um, so this year, last 30 days, last seven days, and so on, um, those time periods are going to dynamically uh, change um, depending on when we run the report. So if it's last seven days, uh, the, the data set is always going to show the last seven days worth of data. Okay. If it's this year, it'll show the data from the start of this year, and obviously that will reset uh, on January 1st every year. Okay. And by making it runtime, um, the, the user uh, can then uh, change that variable as part of running that report, and specifically set at, uh, or specifically look at a date range um, if they choose to. Okay, so we'll set that to this year. Okay, and we can add as many filters as we like. Okay, uh, the next step is to define what we're going to group the data by. Okay, so this is really critical to understanding how the chart's going to come out. So in order to chart any information, that information needs to be grouped in some way, okay? And the reason for that is that we uh, we can't graph um, a total on its own. Let's say we're we're trying to get a, an idea of, um, in this case, uh, total leads by lead source. 
okay um, lead source is what we're grouping by because simply having total leads um, just gives us the total number of leads within a period it doesn't tell us anything about the breakdown of those leads how they're coming into us and so on so we need to pick some way to to group the data okay so I'm going to select lead source as my first group by um, and the second thing I'm going to do just to make this a bit more interesting is I'm going to group by the month that we received that lead um, and what that's going to let me do is um, I want to see on a month by month basis what is the breakdown of where our leads are coming from okay so um, I want to see month uh, along the uh, the horizontal axes um, so the first grouped field goes along the horizontal axes and then from there we see different colors on a uh, on the chart um, for the second parameter there and you'll see what that means in just uh, in just a sec so I should say that you are limited to really grouping by uh, well you're not limited but in order to graphically represent something um, to group by fields is really all you can do just from a uh, 2d versus um, 3d visualization um, uh, requirement okay so I'm now going to select um, the summary that I want to display so in this case I want to display the uh, the number of leads okay uh, grouped by the month that was created and where it was created from okay and uh, obviously I have the ability to report on any one of my uh, met, uh, numerical metrics so uh, average some maximum minimum of all of my numeric fields okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to now go next and finally our display columns uh, when we want to drill down into the report uh, we want to uh, uh, we want to select which fields we actually see in the table below the chart so from here I'm going to select the name of our leads okay we can include lead source if we like but because the data is grouped by lead source it gives us that at the um, top of each uh, grouped data set okay we might want to see the exact date it was created okay what their inquiry was okay what the end status was okay and perhaps what their company name was okay now I use the uh, the filter there just to quickly access the fields because I I, I know roughly what they're called um, simply a, a, an efficiency thing okay now don't sort by uh, just a bit of advice um, for now it is a known bug in in uh, version 6.5 in that if you're grouping data and sorting uh, some of those calculations don't quite come out right I understand it's going to be fixed in the upcoming version but something to stay clear of okay finally we get to select our chart so I'm a fan of the vertical bar chart because it allows us to group uh, multiple values quite clearly okay all right select which data series to display okay um, now we're going to display the counts okay and I generally always leave the description empty because there's no need to uh, put a description there and in the report description uh, if we leave that blank the chart will get the description of the report okay so we're going to name our chart uh, total leads by lead source by month, uh, per month So total leads grouped by lead source per month okay and finally I'm going to save that data okay <clears throat> so what we can see there uh, because a, a large amount of my data is is demo data that comes with sugar CRM uh, what we can see is that a whole bunch of that data was created when I installed the demo system and we can see a breakdown as well as the associated percentage composition of where all of our leads are coming from okay uh, and obviously one over in, or a couple over in May okay now if I scroll down I can see uh, all of the um, leads grouped by lead source and when they were created okay and from there I can drill down on it I can edit them I can do all that sort of thing 
Now, final step, now that we've created our report, is to add it to a dashboard. So I'm going to go and create a new dashboard here and call this um, Analytics. <coughs> I'd call it Marketing, but we already have a Marketing tab there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Sugar Dashlet. I'm going to add a chart, okay, Global Team Reports, okay, because um, I assigned it to the global team. Okay, and I'm going to call, and this was called total leads grouped by lead source per month. Okay, so now in future, um, when this user uh, accesses the um, the CRM, okay, they will always um, have that report on their dashboard. You can add multiple reports to a dashboard, and then they can simply always drill down from there if they would like to learn more information. Okay. Alright, so that uh, concludes our how-to guide on creating reports within Sugar CRM.